We are super excited to share with you the latest sales of 1966 pennies you can find in your change. The 1966 penny you should know about and look for. They are worth good money and we will talk about them right after this. Hey YouTubers, this is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency, we have new videos every day, and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or find that one valuable coin that could change your life. In this video, we will talk about 1966 pennies struck for business use. Pennies we use in everyday operations and transactions. Pennies you can find in your change. Pennies struck in 1966 won't bear any mint mark. Not only the P from the Philadelphia Mint, which is very common on pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint, but no mint mark on pennies struck at all three mints, Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco. So you simply won't know from which mint the coin came from. You see, the year 1966 is the second year where coins, not only pennies, were minted without any mint marks at all. In 1965, due to rising silver prices, coin shortages, had begun to occur. A lady by the name, and I use the term lady loosely here, Eva Adams was the director of the U.S. Mint at the time. She blamed coin collectors for the coin shortage, not the silver prices, that was impacting the United States economy. Because she blamed coin collectors for the shortage, she decided to remove all mint marks from United States coins beginning in 1965. Her theory was so it would stop everybody from collecting coins. It was, of course, a foul excuse with no support of any facts. And, by the way, Miss Adams, as the history has shown, was far away from the truth herself and self-dealing when it came to this issue. Also, many unexpected and unrecorded by the U.S. Mint coins were minted during her term, many of which turned up in her estate. Now, mint marks were returned to coins beginning in 1968. Additionally, Proof sets for collectors were no longer made during this time by her order as well. In response, the U.S. Mint did not produce mint sets and proof sets between 65 and 67. But they came up with the SMS sets, which were issued and coins from these mint sets had a special finish. You can see a comparison between a regular and special finish penny in this picture. Now this video is not about the 1966 SMS penny. We have a series of videos about SMS coins and they will be linked at the end of this one. This video is, like we said, about regular business strike pennies for circulation. In 1966, all the mints combined struck a little bit over 2 billion pennies. Not a huge number. Considering, like we said, they were struck in all three mints because of the mint director's orders, the mints did not pay any attention to the conditions of the coins. So finding them, even in MS-65 or 66, the grade you can find in your change, 
is challenging and they will sell for good money. The highest grade known is only MS67 and this coin sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,292.50. But it's getting even more exciting. With the mint sloppiness that year, they also produced two varieties very well known and worth very good money. Both of them you can find in your change. The first one is a DDO or double die obverse. The designation number is FS 101. The doubling can be seen on In God We Trust and on the date. Now most graded examples are in lower AU grades. The MS60 in MS in MS63 this variety is worth on average around $500. In MS64 $750. And in MS65 which is the highest known and PCGS graded only 3 coins. None of them were sold yet. So there's not even an estimated value by PCGS on those three coins. How cool is that? So look for this coin. Check your change. It's worth looking for. Another variety on the 66 penny is a DDR or double die reverse. Designation FS801. The doubling can be seen on one cent the designer's initials, and United States of America. The latest sale of this coin is this 1966 DDR penny graded MS64 brown. It's not a high grade, it's not a high color, but it's still sold for $660. Not bad. Now the highest grade known is MS65 with only one coin graded by PCGS. So look for them too. Check your penny collection, see if you have one. The regular 1966 pennies are not getting enough attention in our opinion because of the SMS coins struck with the special finish. They are worth good money and you can find them in your change not like pennies from the SMS sets. You need to buy SMS sets in order to find a nice coin in them. These pennies, the regular business strike coins that you use every day and can find in your change. So always check your change. Also and again because of the mint's sloppiness, they have many errors, valuable errors, that you can find in your change. The list, believe it or not, is very long. We can't possibly cover all of them here, but we will show you some to make your search easier and to give you an idea what you can expect to get for them if you find one of these. Now this first one is a 1966 penny double struck on a clad dime planchet. This one is graded MS64 by PCGS. It's a very super cool error. The fact that it is double struck and you can actually see two dates and two monticellos is really cool. Now look at both sides of this coin. This super cool coin sold at Heritage Auction for $1,410. We really do love this error. The next penny is also one of our favorites. It's a 1966 penny triple saddle strike graded MS64 by PCGS. Look at this mess. Look at both sides. This coin 
sold at Heritage Auction for $1,265. Not bad prices for these pennies. The next one is a super cool error too. And many of you would think it's a damaged coin. But no, it, it, it is an error. Now are you ready for this? It's a 1966 penny staple struck into obverse graded MS62 red and brown by NGC. How could this even happen? The reverse looks so normal. So to find this error, you would need to flip the coin over. So as we said many times, always look at both sides of the coin. This wild thing sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,150. And the last coin we want to show you is very special and different too. It is a 1966 penny struck on a 10 cent planchet, graded MS64 proof like by Annex. Now some coins will receive a PL or proof like designation. It doesn't happen very often. And obviously, the finish of the coin is the key here. And this error sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,380. It's amazing how much these errors are bringing. Nothing has sold below $1,000 that we've talked about. And all of them you can find in your change. So good luck if you're looking for that special penny. Please let us know if you have any 66 pennies and if you have any 66 SMS sets. And don't forget to watch our video about SMS pennies. They are worth amazing money. Check out the link. So, we hope you liked this video, found it helpful, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.